Hey, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today we are going to the press night for The Colour Purple, the musical at the Lowry. We've kindly of been gifted our tickets for the press night. So I'm really looking forward to it because it's another musical that I've not seen before. And me and Lawrence love going to musicals we've not seen because we've seen quite a lot. So it's rare we get to see one that we haven't seen before. And Lawrence is coming with me today because he's off. So it should be a fun night. So I'll show you any merch that they have obviously show you a view from our seats and then we'll review it once we get home so I hope you enjoy this little vlog I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you Put my favourite song on I put my Hi, so my dad has just dropped us off now We're just walking up to the theatre Just dropped us off at the War Museum And we're just walking up now So we actually don't know where we're sat today Because we've not, we're getting paid for tickets when we get there So it'll be interesting to find out where we're sat And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? So we're just across the water from the Lowry now, you see it there's the Lowry just there. So as usual we're gonna walk across the bridge uh, to the Lowry. So we've just arrived at the Lowry, it looks so nice all lit up. So we're going to go ahead in now, find the press desk, pick our tickets up, programme and then head to our seats. Oh, how much I love you, I put your favourite song on, just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feeling just like So we're just in the theatre now, we've got some new like metal detectors on the way in now, which is very fancy. So, so just gonna go to the press desk now, pick up our tickets and our programme and then probably head to our feet. So we've just picked up our wrist. Yeah, do you want to get one? Pick up our wristbands, tickets, and our programs. Let's see where we're sat. Uh, ooh, row D. Row D, seat 49 and 48. Oh, we're in the circle. Circle. Yeah. We've got a nice seat in the circle. So we're just heading to our seat. So we are in the circle today. Don't remember the last time I sat in a circle. In a long time. So we need to go to door C. And then we're on row D, seat 48 and 49. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Uh, we're just in our seats now. Uh, Rombo D is the circle seat 48, 49. The view's really good actually. Like I said, we've not sat in a circle before. Have we ever sat in a circle in the Lowry? I know. I don't know if we've ever. I probably have when I was younger because I used to come loads when I was younger. But not since I've been with Lawrence. We usually sit in the 
grunt here, but we're going to come for press nights in the circle. So, I guess this is the first time in a long time we've been in the circle. So I'll just show you the view. Yeah, so this is a view, so it's a little bit of a side on view, but it's not it's not too bad, you won't miss anything. So yeah, these are really good seats. I sort of was finding it hard to concentrate. Oh, geez, the yeah, I was the tiredest. I just got our drink. I got, we just got our introduced today. Oh, so good. We are now back from the theatre. Lawrence has actually gone to bed because he's been up since three o'clock this morning. He was in work really early today, so he's absolutely knackered. So he's gone to bed. So it's left to me to review the show for you. So obviously we went to Lowry to see The Colour Purple, the musical. Um, we went to the evening show and it started at half seven. We were sat in the circle. We were on row D, seat 48 and 49, and I thought the view from those seats were excellent. I actually think I preferred the view 
from a circle than in the stalls just because I'm really short and there's much more of a um, graduate graduation um, in the circle so I could easily see over everyone's heads. I just really enjoyed the view from up there, I thought it was really good. We were sat to the side so we did have a bit of a side view but there wasn't much that we couldn't see, there was just one bit where we couldn't see and it was when um, Sophia um, was in jail um, and you just we couldn't see all of her. You could still see a bit of her but that was the only bit that you couldn't see from the seats. So I would definitely recommend them seats, I would definitely sit in those seats again. There was plenty of leg room in those seats, I don't think I showed the leg room but there was plenty of leg room in those seats as well. So yeah, it would definitely sit there again. I'm not sure how much those seats cost, obviously because our tickets were gifted as it was press night, but I'm guessing probably around the £30-£40 pound mark for those seats. Um, but yeah, they were very good seats. So there actually wasn't any merch for this show. Um, the only thing they were selling for the show were the programmes, um, which were the house programmes, which are these, and these were £5. I obviously got this gifted with being press, and it's actually quite a thick program a lot of them you don't get much information in but this is quite thick and the papers are really good quality as well actually so I say this is um this is definitely worth the five pounds compared to some of the programs that I've had so the runtime for this show was two and a half hours um and that included a 20 minute interval so the colour purple the musical itself is actually based on the novel by Alice Walker and that novel also got turned into a film back in 1985 and the film starred Whoopi Goldberg and also Oprah Winfrey as well. Um, so yeah, it was quite a big film. I've actually never watched it and I think now after seeing the musical and by the way I absolutely loved it, so did Lawrence, it was such a good show. The story behind this musical is such a deep and powerful story. Um, it's, it's just a really good story. Um, and yeah, definitely recommend the music. So after the success of, of, of the film, uh, they then decided to make a Broadway musical of, of the novel and that came out I think in 2005. So this production is the UK tour production of the um, Leicester Curve revival, which I think happened in 2019, I'm not quite sure. But they revived the uh, Colour Purple, the musical, and now they are sending it off on tour. So the book for the musical was written by Marsha Norman, and the music and lyrics were by Brenda Russell, Ali Willis, and, and Stephen Bray. So the musical tells the story of Celie. She's an African-American girl who lives in the Deep South during the turn of the 20th century. So Celie suffers from a lot of mental and physical abuse throughout her life. Firstly from her father and then from the man who she was married off to. But Celie does eventually find her confidence and self-worth uh, with the help of some of her friends, um, Shug Avery and Sophia. They help her to find her self-worth and confidence. So the musical numbers for this show um, were good, I enjoyed them, um, they definitely worked very well with the show, however they weren't that memorable. I did enjoy them but I don't really remember any of them now I've come home, so it's not one that I would go and buy the soundtrack to and want to continue to listen to, um, but I did think the music worked well with the show, they just weren't very catchy songs that I would then want to go out and buy and listen to over and over again but like I said they worked for the show I think catchy tunes for this sort of musical wouldn't have worked it's like it's a very deep story um, so the music that they had worked very well for, for the show so the cast for this though were absolutely outstanding I really enjoyed all the performances I thought Everyone was excellent. Standout performance was definitely Misha Bryan as Celie. She was excellent and she was on the stage for pretty much most of the show. And yeah, I thought she was amazing. I loved her performance. Um, and her voice was excellent as well. She had a really good, strong voice. And yeah, I thought she was an amazing performer. So I also want to just mention a bit about the set. The set, I actually really enjoyed the set. 
um it's, it was a simple set and they sort of pushed different seam like through there's like two holes in you'll probably see it a bit better from the video um but they would push different rooms through so it had um like Celie's house it had like the shop um it had a church and it, they would just like come through these little um, spaces in the main state in the main scene um, I thought it was quite clever. They also used some projections on there um, as well. They used a bit of projection and the lighting was really good. Um, so I enjoyed all that aspect of the show. So anyway, that, that leads on well for us to look through the programme and look at the rest of the cast list in here. Uh, there was one understudy on for the show. Kayla Cart Carter, I think it was, who was playing the role of... Jereen, um, so that is the only understudy that was on. So let's look through the program now and look at the cast list. Okay, so this is the program on the front of here. It tells you dates that it's on at the Lowry for. So it's from Tuesday 11 to Saturday the 15th of October. Then you just have a couple of adverts for some shows that are on at the Lowry. get onto your information about the show. I have to say the the paper in this is really good quality, it's really thick. It is a very good quality program. So you've got um, some articles in it in here, you've got meet the director, um, so there's some information here about the director, you've got some rehearsal photos. We've got a little article here, Purple House Rules. You've got this little bit about the colour purple and the civil rights movement. So you've got all different dates. So yeah, this is all the different dates of when things happened to Celie uh, and throughout her life. So this is quite interesting. So yeah, that's quite interesting to look through. We've got some more rehearsal photos here. And you've got a little article about the colour purple set design. So here it is here in the pictures you can see. And then different things sort of popped through these little holes. So they had like the church set that came out. They had like Celie's house, um, the sh her dad's shop. And yeah, other little rooms that would pop out. Some more rehearsal photos. And then you have your scene and song list here. So here are the songs that are in Act 1. And Act 2. And then here it says the running time, so it's 2 hours and 30 minutes, including a 20 minute interval. And then here is your cast list here. You've got your musicians. Acknowledgements. And then you've got your production team on this side. And then we have the cast biographies. So I don't think these are in any particular order, I think uh, they're in um, alphabetical order. So plain squeak, you got Jamond Alotti. Um, I thought she was really funny, I did like her in the role of squeak. And this says that this is actually her professional debut. 
Then you've got Kyle Birch playing Bobby and Buster. So playing Pa, a churchgoer and field hand is KM Drew Boating. And then playing the main role of Seeley, you've got Misa Bryan. And like I said, she was she was excellent. Absolutely amazing in the role. I thought she was really good. So she's been in things like Romantics Anonymous, As You Like It, Caroline or Change. Uh, Desire Under the Elms, Sister Act, and The Lion King. So she's been in quite a few things. So then we've got Kayla Carter, and she was um, on as an understudy tonight. She was playing Jereen. Um, she's usually the alternate Doris or the on stage swing. So she was playing Jereen in this performance. Then you've got Joshua Clemenson playing Adam and the Guard. Then you got Ahmed Hamad playing Harpo and Fight Captain. You got Monifer James playing Olivia. Then you had Anelisa Lamola playing Sophia and the Church Soloist. And I really enjoyed her performance as well. I thought she was really good as Sophia. Um, she has been in in The Wiz at Hope Mill Theatre. Heather in Sunset Boulevard. Uh, Jeannie in Aladdin. Yeah, she's done a few things. So yeah, she's got quite a few things. She's got some television and film credits. And some recording credits as well. So es Esme Laudat usually plays Jereen, but like I said, for this performance it was Kayla Carter. So Doris and alternate Seely is played by Karen, Karen Mavadungu. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, um, but yeah, she is the alternate Seely and she also plays Doris. Then you've got Diana McLean as an ensemble. Ico Mitchell as Mr. Um, so he is Celia's husband. He has been in quite a few things. He's been in Chess, Bonnie and Clyde. He's been in The Colour Purple before. So yeah, he's been in quite a lot. He's also got some television and film credits as well. Playing Grady and the Preacher, you've got McCallum Connell. Playing Darlene, you've got Rosemary Annabelle McCrumer. The on stage swing and assistant dance captain is Alex Okoampa. And then playing Old Mister. Uh, which is Mr's father, is Neil Patterson. Playing Sugavery is Brie Smith. And she was really she was good as well. So she she's done a few things as well. And then on stage swing was Kella M. Spring and playing Nettie who is Celie's sister is Alia Zahane and she has been in one production so far which was the Comedy of Errors in the Mercury Theatre and she was really good, I thought she did a really good performance. Then here is your list of understudies and first covers and second covers and then you've got your production team And that is your program. So the colour purple is on at the Lowry until Saturday the 15th of October. 
it will then continue on its UK tour. I think it's next up on the tour is um, the Cardiff Millennium Centre. Uh, I'm not sure it goes after that, but I'll try and find a list of uh, its touring venues and list it down below for you in case you want to catch it on its tour. I'll also link down below uh, to the Lowry's website in case you'd like to buy tickets while it is on at the Lowry. Uh, so yeah, Lawrence and I really love the show. I definitely recommend it. Um, I would definitely go and see this again. I just thought it was such a powerful story and yeah, we loved it. So I hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog and review. If you have, please do give this video a like. Um, if you like theatre vlogs and reviews, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as a new video goes up. But yeah, like I was saying, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.